teaching through a global pandemic isn't how anybody really saw the year going. However, unknowingly, I have been preparing and training for this moment for many years. I have actually been making fun, engaging, and educational videos for my music students for quite some time. So now, it was my time to shine. The amazing music leadership team for our school district did make some awesome lessons for all of the kids in the school district. But on top of that, at Roan Forest, we did so much more. So our big focus was not to stress anybody out and definitely to keep the morale up in the community. Our primary platform for the students to turn in their work was through Seesaw. But I also took the opportunity to really update our music website for the music department. And that was the primary place for the families to go to get access to the music lessons that were being put out every week, on top of just some really cool content. We were mostly doing asynchronous music lessons, so that way the students can do the work when they were able to do the work. We knew a lot of the families couldn't accommodate a strict schedule, so we accommodated them. One of the things that was a really big hit with the kids was when I would record my videos using a memoji of myself. It looked just like me. It was awesome. I've been making videos for quite some time, but I knew that it was time to learn a new program. So for about a month straight, I was watching tutorial videos and practicing using the Adobe Suite, which I got a subscription for. And the program that I use the most is Premiere Pro, and that's the program that I used for all of the big projects that I've done recently. I'm so proud of the first project that I did with it. It took me a month straight from beginning to end, but it was very special because it was the fifth anniversary Sonido Virtual Ensemble. In it, we had current students as well as alumni who are now gonna be sophomores in high school, as well as my teaching partners from the past. It was awesome. I hosted weekly Sonido team meetings on Zoom where we discussed things that we can do to continue to make an impact. A few of the highlights are the Jammin' with Sonido videos that we made where the students actually took on leadership roles and they led music activities for the other students in the school. Those were a big hit. Another project that we did was a service project where we put together performance videos and personalized messages and we sent those to some of the local retirement communities. That turned out great. Students were also given the opportunity to be assessed on their recorder skills if they so chose and this was a highlight because we got to see some great things. One of my favorite things about distance learning was that we had one-on-one -on -one interaction with our students and we got to really see what they're doing musically. Here is a short example of a lesson that I taught. I'll go first like this. Okay, can you sing that? Ooh, that was very nice. I'm... Do some vocal exploration around the house. It's a lot of fun. See you later. Very soon, I will be one of the panelists for an upcoming TMEA Elementary Division brainstorming session in which we discuss what things are going to look like in the fall. Things may look and sound pretty different in the fall, but one thing I can say is that elementary music teachers are going to make it work and it's going to be amazing. I also took the opportunity to participate in some virtual acapella collaborations with music teachers from all over the world. Masterminded by Chris Lombardi, the kids loved them. One of the keys to success for this music program has been relentless recruitment for the music clubs at the school. The students at Roan Forest have really bought into the amazing things that can happen when they're involved in their school's music program. And so, I know that the program at Roan Forest is going to be just fine.